361 Taiwanese have been evacuated from the virus-stricken city of Wuhan. They landed in Taoyuan late Tuesday and early Wednesday on two separate flights coordinated through weeks of talks between Taiwan and China. Taiwan lawmakers said that the evacuations were possible because both sides were able to compromise and set, politi and set politics aside. Taiwan's last airlift from Wuhan was more than a month ago, and it triggered disputes that derailed plans for other evacuations. Two charter flights from Wuhan arrived in Taiwan late Tuesday and early morning on Wednesday, carrying 361 Taiwanese. Following the botched initial evacuation, China softened its insistence on calling the shots. Although Taiwan did not have the control it had over its Diamond Princess evacuation, the Wuhan airlift was still progress in the right direction, lawmakers said. These charter flights can be seen as a new model for cross-strait interactions. Although it wasn't 100 percent satisfactory, both sides still found the arrangement relatively acceptable. I hope that we can continue with this model of engagement. All while putting epidemic prevention first, we were able to help those passengers. I think that this is a good beginning. Amid the appeals of the people, the government on the two sides of the Taiwan Strait heard those voices and carried out the charter evacuation in a reciprocal manner, allowing our compatriots to come home safely. Ahead of the first charter flight from Wuhan, China took the lead and refused to allow Taiwan to dispatch its own charter flight. Instead, the passengers were sent back on the China-based China Eastern Airlines in a slight to Taiwan's national sovereignty. Taiwan allowed the flight to land, only to find that some of its passengers were not on the original passenger list. In the latest round of evacuations, the two sides had reached a compromise and sent passengers back on two flights, one operated by a Taiwanese carrier and the other by China Eastern Airlines. This highlights the importance of communication between the two sides of the Taiwan Strait. Even China's own territory of Hong Kong and Macau were allowed to use their own carriers when evacuating their people. Why did China feel the need to impose China Eastern Airlines on our evacuation? But this round of evacuation is a great improvement on the last time. We hope that if everything unfolds smoothly this time around, we can continue evacuations for the many Taiwanese nationals who are still stranded in Wuhan. This time around, Beijing still insisted on the involvement of China Eastern Airlines. Taiwan's government said that due to humanitarian concerns, it was willing to set politics aside and focus on welcoming back the evacuees.